Welcome back guys to our second part of Commerce Chronicles. Tuko hapa na purity. Na pale part 1 ametuelezea kusina na biashara yake. Vile alianzisha na vile anayendeleza. So we are going to continue with the interview. But before we move on guys, remember that this show is proudly sponsored by Dunamis Ruak Group of Companies. They deal with property management. Kama wewe ni landlord na unashangani aje utamanage properties, don't worry, Dunamis got you. Na pia kama unataka kumove in summer, you're wondering where you're going to move in, they'll also sort you out. Their numbers are right here kwa screen, wakitia, yotasaidika. So purity, kwa kila biashara, inaponga na challenges. Ni challenges gani zizi nye umefatuna nazo kwa biashara? Challenges ya kwanza, sourcing for products. Unitaji ujitume sana, ndiyo ikue unajua ni kiatu gani imetokea ni nguo gani iko so kuhakikisha you are updated na what is trending at that moment sababu ukienda uende vitu zili zilivaliwa ziko aziko fashion sababu viatu na mambo inaendanga na fashion so fashion inakuwa ina kuwa updated haraka sasa lazima ukue updated so inahitaji ukue makini sana another challenge is ni kama client client wako unaweza kuwa umeleta product fulani na wae awaitaki so ujue customer wako what they need ukue ukue sawa ukijua test customers wako wanataka usikuje kuacha na baby stock kwa biashara another challenge ni kama clients kuna wengine wanapenda credit product sun mm-hmm. so at the moment una restrict una unawakataza unakuta you are losing clients but it's better you lose client if you could lose mm-hmm. pesa zako mm-hmm. eh, so ni challenge kuwa manage hivyo mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. tuseme sasa <coughs> kuna customer amekuja yeah. amesema nataka unipatie kiatu mm-hmm. lakini sina pesa sana mm-hmm. una deal aje na how a credit okay wa credit kuna kama ni customer wako kuna mwenye unajua kama ni customer wako umekuwa na yeye unajua kama she is capable of paying back lakini sana sana i restrict them wengi sababu i have that it nimepatia client amekuwa customer wako for almost a year ile siku amekuja akanikopa kiatu nikampatia akaenda na sijamuona tena si naona hapo na lose so ni kumwambia kama anataka kiatu na hana kama hana pesa Unaweza muwekea halipe pole pole kuna lipa mdogo mdogo hata kwa biashara yangu analipia kiatu ikiwa hapa hakimalizia na mpatia kiatu eh lakini pia kuna customer mwenye unajua huyu kuna wale customer royal customers na unajua huyu anaweza analipanga so huyu unaweza mpatia lakini si wengi kidogo sana sio waamini sasa sababu nimekuwa na cases mingi nimepatia client kiatu na ameenda na ameenda Mm-hmm. na sijui nitamtoa wapi sasa i restrict them so siwaambia kuna kuna kulipa pole pole unataka kiatu ya 500 lipa tu bila utaweza mm-hmm. after you have finished paying na kupatia kiatu yako unaenda na mm-hmm. okay, eh, nice. hii inasaidia sasa mm-hmm. unaona si lose my so nikimpatia aende na yeye lose my profit na pesa yangu ya stock band imeenda na kiatu mm-hmm. eh, wow that's a nice strategy na kwa hii industry kuna kwa na competition mingi sana competition hata uko na viatu kuna mwingine ako nazo una deal aje nayo sasa about competition kitu moja ni it is a price market ile iko usi over usi over price your product ujue standard ya kiatu kama ni kiatu fulani inatoka pesa fulani price ya market ni aje usi over price your product you you just know that the, the market price vile kuko mm-hmm. rough thing another thing kuna mwingine anaweza kuwa na hiki yetu niko naye but low quality so anatend kui kuuza at a cheaper price na yangu ni quality so mm-hmm. even the quality hata ukiuza kitu quality na uuze pesa iko juu kuliko ule mwenzako mm-hmm. unaona kitu yako inasonga haraka sababu ataenda anunue ile within a short period of time tuseme yake ime, ime meisha imeona alafu yangu nimemuuzia quality na imekaa nimemuuzia tuseme 15 and you know ile nyingine alinunua 1000 so utaona atarudi tu kwangu mm-hmm. eh ule mwingine aliuzua chip ata ata mm-hmm. atakuwa ata nashinda so i better use what i do quality things quality ndio inanisaidia anga siuzi 
vitu low quality so hata nikiuza quality na kaaya price iko sawa mm-hmm. eh, but even the, the other is overpriced my things na juanga price kwa market ikoaje i sell the same i intend to sell the the same, same place with others yeah wow asante sana na ndio pato zi quality product unazitoanga mm-hmm. wapi na i do sauce naendeanga mzigo yangu naendea mwenyewe situmani mzigo ama ati ninalipea na pesa na weke no naendanga mwenyewe personal kama I go, normally go to Nairobi I shop na tafuta what I need najua customer wangu wanatakanga nini hiyo ndio kitu yenye natafuta sababu utakuta for example sandals kuna zenye ni cheaper cheaper na kuna zenye ni expensive I tend to think that the expensive one because I know they are high quality they are high quality product I don't mm-hmm. sell the cheaper ones mm-hmm. lakini nao kuna wenye wa they prefer the cheaper one because they will sell at a cheaper prices mm-hmm. yeah mm, unasikia wenzako wanauza hivi na wewe unauza hivi na oh, lakini hazifanani mm-hmm. so my I, my quality ndi men maintain mm-hmm. eh, quality yeah. and what my clients wants nimejua hiyo ni nini mm-hmm. wanatakanga Mm-hmm. Na kupata customers. Nimeona kuna customers kadha wa kadha wanaingia. Mm-hmm. Na ni wengine nimesikia mm-hmm. si mara yao ya kwanza kufika. Yeah. How do you acquire these customers and how do you retain them? Mm-hmm. My customers mm-hmm. and get them the when you walikuja I have maintained them. Mm-hmm. How how to they go and refer others? because they see purity as a nice product mm-hmm. hata wewe umenisikia mahali wanasema mm-hmm. purity ako na product mzuri mm-hmm. sana ako na viatu smart kuja unikiuzia um, kama huyu nimeuzia naenda naonyesha mwenzake mm-hmm. na wenye wanapita wanaona nduka yangu mahali wanaona iko na vitu nzuri mm-hmm. they just come in halafu nime nimejaribu ku maintain my clients nimejaribu kujua what they need na I, I meet them na na was satisfied what they need I make sure I have satisfied them so hakuna client atakuja complain because nilimuuzia kitu mbaya ati atoroke aende kwa nduka nyingine wanarund to they I maintain them wanakuja i love talking to them nicely customers they need hawataki mtu wa kuongelesha ama wa kuangalia ninataka uwaongeleshe vizuri hata kama amembageni ame sana mwambie iwezi usimwambie iwezi toka hiyo price yeah mm-hmm. nimejaribu kuwa maintain hivyo na referrals most of them they are refer eh, wow amazing yeah, yeah. na nimeona duka yako inaitwa city trends yeah shoes yes ni, what made you come up with that name hapa tu we normally sell vitu zenye zina trend huko Nairobi mm-hmm. what is in the market ukitaka tu kama utaipata hapa mm-hmm. ndio what is trending at that moment is what we sell mm-hmm. ukipata sando fulani kwa soko kuja hapa kwa purity wezi ikosa mm-hmm. yeah we sell trending things si wow. zenye zinza kitambo mm-hmm. what is in there yeah that why we are calling ourselves the trend shoes mm-hmm. yeah wow amazing yeah kali. na kwa biashara mm-hmm. ndio unafaa kuwa na savings sana wewe una save aje wewe binafsi na save nimefungua niko na equity accounts niko na daima sako that way i do my savings ndio ni si kule yote mm-hmm. eh, i make sure i have saved some of my profit huko mm-hmm. eh yeah oh, na nice. savingi huko mm-hmm. eh, na unaweza advise aje mtu ako na biashara na na struggle na hiyo savings hana strategy unaweza mu advise aje ni vizuri ku save sababu if you have savings mahali tuseme for example the way hai niko na ndaima niko na savings niko na to shares kama nikitaka mm, tuseme pesa eh, capital niongeze hii biashara yangu ni rahisi sana niende kwao sababu wananijua waniweze kunipea pesa because I'm a member there inasaidia sana kama mtu wa biashara kuwa na account kama hiyo na pia E, inakusaidia kuweka mali pesa yako mali si e, inakusaidia wakati unahitaji pesa sababu lazima uhitaji pesa ya kujiendeleza unapata mali ya kwenda wanakupea pesa bila kusumbuka mm-hmm. e, wow. e, asante sana na unaweza patia watu advice gani mtu anataka kuanzisha biashara batako na uoga unaweza mwambiaje naweza wamwambia hasikuwe na uoga hata kidogo 
ile pesa ako nayo hatoke haende anzishe hiyo biashara asikuwe na uoga ninge nilipoanzisha hii biashara kuna watu waliniuliza purity umefungulia nani tukaya viatu kia godhi market siku pata la kujojibu lakini unaona watu wangeni discourage ni nani atanunua viatu kia godhi na town iko pale si mtaenda kununua viatu town like, sasa watu wana usikuwe na uoga wote ningekuwa nilikuwa na uoga si unaona singekuwa mahali niko size ningekuwa bando na strain financial toka na ile pesa uko naye hata kama utaenda uzinunue ukuje uweke mahali uanze kuuza Mungu ataendelea kukuinua na ukue persistence na ukue na hiyo unataka biashara ujiika kamwe eh usikuwe na uoga wa kuanzisha biashara just start it eh make a step forward anza na ile pesa na usikuwe na capital mingi kidogo tu hiyo ndio itakuinua eh wow amenga na mimi ni goi na kufanya ufurahie na kazi yako what makes you happy <laughs> kazi yangu me, ni i'm happy i nakuwa na clients we interact halafu it's enjoyable ukika kwa duka kama hii unaona vile kuna kale kuna ka vizuri uku iku service giving service people it makes you happy eh unaona mtu amevaa kiatu amekaa vizuri kangu amekaa vizuri it makes you happy and you are still getting something from it so unaona inakufanya ukue mchangamfu eh na ukue na bidii zaidi wow asante sana unaweza tueleza ni wapi watu wanaweza kupata shop yako iko wapi na pia kama kuna namba ya simu shop yangu iko hapa Kiambodhi market eh it's not far from Embu town ukiingia na hiyo barabara ya Mhm. Si mbali Kiambote Market ukiwa Embu Town ni rahisi kufika. Namba yangu ya simu ni 0707370836. Purity 0707370836. Kiambote Market pia tu za watoto, za watu wazima, za mama, za baba zote zinapatikana hapa. Eh, karibuni sana. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Yeah, Tunasema asante for giving us this opportunity. Watu wa Melan pale na pia mimi ni Melan mingi sana. Asante sana. Kwa shukrani sana. Nimeshukuru sana pia kwa kuwa nami. Mungu awabariki. Asante. Kama vile mmesikia guys from our guest Purity ametuelezea vile biashara yake inampeleka na vile alianzisha. You've gotten your tips, you've gotten your secrets hapa Ovoro TV. Now before I sign out, remember that this show is proudly sponsored by Dunamis Rural Group of Companies. They deal with property management. Kama wewe ni landlord unashanganiaje utamanage your properties? Don't worry cause Dunamis got you. Also if you're looking for somewhere to move in, maybe ni biashara unataka kuweka ama you want to move in as a tenant, don't worry they also got you. The numbers are right here on the screen. Reach them out na utasaidika. So see you on our next episode of Commerce Chronicles. I have been your host Sherin Jorogen.